Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, today we're going to check out some more Freddie Mercury. Uh, so first off, to any of you who have watched um, the the reaction to Queen's performance on Live Aid, that's my top performing video. The kindness and passion on that around uh, this performance, it's, it's infectious. In the movie about Freddie Mercury, nearer to the end of the, uh, of the, of the movie, drummer, I'm pretty sure it was a drummer, Roger Taylor, tells Freddie, you're a legend, Freddie. A lot of us growing up, you know, uh, us millennials, we know Freddie Mercury is a legend. It's been amazing to discover why that is, and it makes so much sense. One of the greatest, most versatile voices ever, such a performer, such an energy. It's touching. So today we're we've already checked out Freddie Mercury doing some stuff with Montserrat Cavalli. No idea if I'm saying that right. But um, I remember when we checked out their song when they sang a uh, Barcelona, just in how many different situations his voice makes complete sense in. So I'm excited how it, it does it more here. How can I go on? So this is also an original track from what from this, you know, this this union here. But let's roll it. This video was sponsored by Mr. David Ortman. Thank you so much, sir. You've opened my mind to to Freddie Mercury in a much in a much deeper way. So thank you for your support, your patronage, and just your desire to uh, educate me. Let's roll it. When all the salt is taken from the sea, I stand dethroned. I'm naked and I. When your finger points so savagely Please Is anybody there to believe in me? Please, I'm having the same reaction as her, bro <laughs> Before she comes in 33 seconds in and holy crap, dude I want to run back the part that I did already I promise I'll try to practice restraint in doing this this that much in this in this video. Is anybody there to believe in me? What he's so good, dude. Just doing. Best I've heard his voice in. Those beautiful dreams that we share. The last and I know where to be found. How can I go on? Sometimes I feel so happy. Oh, jeez, that's beautiful. the most impressive i've ever seen his like him like sing we moses bro what are the people saying dude every single comment is in a different language we got portuguese we got italian un clásico mágico fascinante encantador eterno i don't know what language i was trying to speak there but i understand what she's saying it is definitely magical fascinating dude look look how just greatness unites bro people from everywhere recognizing and being unified by this man's voice and her and hers okay we're we're not talking much about um this this uh, this opera singer she has one of my favorite soprano voices too i have dabbled with opera i typically prefer the alto voice i really like hers back out of here I love how committed they are to the performance too, man.
Look at just, I love. Are they like incredibly close friends? Like this is, I feel an authentic love and admiration here. Like what's, what's, I'm sure I asked it in the last time, like the last time we checked them out singing together. Why did this happen? I couldn't really understand uh, the lyrics, of course, when she's saying and with whatever he was saying. So was he translating what she was saying? Wow, dude, the, the lyrics are so poetic. Who wrote this? Seems like Mike Morin and Freddie Mercury. He's so great. It's unfair. And I say unfair because we just lost him too soon. He's too genius, man. I genuinely believe like the world would be a more united place if Freddie Mercury was still around performing and bringing us all together. Seems like it's a song about like a heartbreak. How can I go on? There's a heartbreak that what makes you feel incredibly alone. And then there's this desire for something greater to hopefully remove that that pain. And just peeking at the rest of the of the lyrics here, it, it seems like we're not gonna get the answer of what can fulfill this in the song. It's it's a song about expressing this desire to find something that um, you know, biblically, the the fountain that if you drink from you never thirst. Uh, that source of that source that fulfills you so that you no longer feel utterly completely alone. I couldn't really understand what they were saying there uh, while they sung it, but a dang could I feel that. Let's keep it rolling. To swear like nobody's business. I it's just <laughs> What's happening here? What dude that outro that was unfair. But my head is always up in the clouds in a dream world. 57 million views posted on November 22nd, 2012. Oh man. Um, with it uh, being done, I'm, I'm for some reason I'm getting emotional, bro. I'm getting sad. Not sad. Uh, um, that was just so beautiful. Uh, like, yeah. Uh, nothing else to say. I'm, I'm. I can't even find words. But this is a good feeling. There's a lot of worries in my life. My mind is completely still right now. In a way, uh, majestic musical performances like this helps you tap into the divine, right? And maybe, hopefully, that's what we're feeling. I think it's what it is. What do you think? What did you feel the first time you heard that? Anxious to hear from y'all. Everybody, thank you so much for spending some time with me. Hit, hit like and subscribe. Mr. Ortman, thank you so much for your help with, with this channel. But more than that, you've opened my eyes to, to music that makes me yearn to have been like had the chance to live in a, in a previous time. But at the same time, I'm grateful for the generation I grew up in because I now have access to all of this. Thank you all so much for, for hanging out. Hope to see you soon.